Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be doing a case study based question for class 9 from the chapter coordinate geometry. So the students of class 9 on visit of sensor bum, teacher assigned them on the activity to observe and take some pictures to analyze the seating arrangement between various MP and speaker based on coordinate geometry. The staff tour guide explain various facts related to max of sensor power to the students. Students were surprised when teacher asked them you need to apply coordinate geometry on the seating arrangement of MPs and speaker. Calculate the following, refer to the below image and graph and answer the following question. So these are the seating arrangement of various MPs and speaker in Sensor power, you can see according to that the graph is plotted. Now, looking at the graph, you have to find out the answers. What are the coordinates of position F? So, F is here. We need to find the coordinates of this position F. You know, here it is minus 4. First, we need to write x coordinate, so it is minus 4, and then we have to write the y coordinate minus 4, 3. So, answer is minus 4. 3. Now second question, what are the coordinates of position D? Again coming back to the graph, you can see here D is in this quadrant, that is third quadrant. So here minus 3 and minus 2. First again you should write x coordinate minus 3 and minus 2. Now the third question, what are the coordinates of position H? So H is here, we need to find the coordinates of position H. So this is first quadrant, we know that a graph can be divided into four quadrants by using two perpendicular axes, one is X axis, other is Y axis, the horizontal one is X axis and the vertical one is Y axis. So this is the second quadrant, this is your third quadrant, this is your fourth quadrant. So we need to find the position of the H, H is nothing. Eight. You can see here, first you should write the x coordinate, so 8 and it is between 4 and 5. So we can write as 4.5, 8, 4.5. Let's see whether the value is there in the graph, 8, 4.5. Next question, in which quadrant the point C lies? So first we will find out the point C. So C lies in the fourth quadrant. So in which quadrant the point C lies? It lies in the fourth quadrant. Find the perpendicular distance of the point E from y axis. So from first find out E we have to find then we have to find out the perpendicular distance from y axis. So this is the point E. What is the perpendicular distance from y axis? So we know the coordinates of E is 10 and 3. Perpendicular distance from y axis is x coordinate you should write or here from the graph itself you can make out it is 10 units so answer is 10 units so in today's video we have seen a case study based question from the chapter coordinate geometry so thank you for watching my video